Hi, it's me, Roger. Do another update um, on some items I've got here. I know I posted a picture a while back and something I had of a spotting scope for I got for my anniversary. So anyway, it's a Redfield Rampage uh, 20 by 60 by 60. So it's not the uh, most elite spotting scope. I would even kind of call it as low to middle tier. Uh, spotting scope, but uh, it had a lot of good reviews on it, and I know Redfield is a subsidiary of, uh, of Leopold, so um, it does have some decent optics, and I'm going to kind of show you the whole setup I've got, so anyway, um, here is the spotting scope. It's the Redfield um, Rampage 20 by 40 by 60 and it's a straight see-through scope, and the thing I like about it is it already comes in the case. Um, it's got a, a dust cover on the end, and this is a sunshade that actually pulls out from there that way if you're in the sun. It's got a zip-up closure. It's got a, the case in the back comes back over it right here and zips uh, around the eyepiece. So that gives you some more protection uh, when you're transporting it. So. This is the, the adjustment knob for the um, clarity and focus. It's got a Velcro loop that goes over the top of it. And it's even got a spot where it connects to the actual tripod here. Uh, this covers up as well. So anyway, once you get this buttoned up, the whole scope is actually protected. So you can carry it in your backpack or by hand. It's got a shoulder strap if you want to sling it on that way. But... Uh, anyway, I'm pretty pleased at it so far. I've been actually found a spot It's over the top of that silver car in between those bushes There's a couple of goats that go on this man's property So I've been kind of scoping those out and that's approximately 275 yards down there, so I was actually able to zoom in to around 40 45 plus you get up to 16 you can get a little distortion but not that much, so I'll keep it around 45 to 50, maybe it is a max. Uh, and I like using it on the uh, lowest setting, 20, because it really gives you a good field of vision, has some good clarity. Um, it's actually got the eyepiece that screws out right here, back and forth. So anyway, I'm pretty pleased with the scope. The next thing I needed for my upcoming elk hunt trip was a tripod. So. Um, all the videos I show, so people hiking up to various ridges, overlooking in the various areas to try to catch elk moving or bedding during the day. So I, I picked up this cheap tripod. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it because of, um, let me see if I can find the brand. It's an Albert 70 inch tripod. I wanted something really tall that had a lot of adjustment vertically. Because I am a tall person, a lot of adjustment in the legs and stuff like that. And so far, I'm pretty pleased. It's got a uh, leveling bubble here. It's got the three-piece legs and extension that I've able to, to lock this in. It's got a piece right here that will lock in the center to keep it from collapsing. A hook to hang a bag of weights to help it stay put. This is your vertical adjustment up and down. It's got an actual... Uh, thing here the little knob that you can move this around so anyway um the thing i didn't particularly care for it's got a quick release plate on it let me see if i can pull this out and show y'all um it's got a quick release plate on the bottom that you attach to your scope and screw it into a, 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 a base here but i noticed that when i had it in it was kind of loose and flopping around in the, in the wind, so I put a piece of duct tape. Yep, duct tape fixes everything. It gave it a little buildup right here, so it gives it a little more um, tension in the base right here. Uh, let me find it. Yeah, right there. It goes in actually pretty nice and... Um, and tight so it really the only um, thing you're going to have is this plate right here and I might actually put some uh, duct tape under that to give it a little bit of, of 
uh, spacer as well but uh, anyway um, the tripod was like $44 I'm like man you can't beat that with a stick man so I think between the spotting scope and the tripod and one of the other things I got let me show you is um, I have a large pair of Nikon's binoculars I use right here that I really like that have some good clarity um, it's not in here but I got a let me find it I got an adjustment tool for it right here yeah this will actually screw into the back of your binoculars and this will hook on to the adjustment plate on your tripod so let's say I was working a lot of close cover and I really didn't need this much magnification I could actually um, let me show you how this works here okay is there's a screw here in the binoculars and I could see myself using this quite a bit if I find an area that I actually is not as uh, far away terrain let me put the binoculars down so anyway that unscrews on my Nikon right there my binoculars and I take this adapter and And you screw that in right here so anyway I can still use the tripod and actually this part right here of the base would sit into that so then I have the ability to use my binoculars uh, to because I get a little more field of view I'm not squinting through one eye looking at something so to me this setup would be a plus if I find an area I really want to spend the day in hunting. I would bring these binoculars, leave the spotting scope at the truck, and then that way I can use these to look at more and see more field of a view uh, for, for a distance I want to hunt. So anyway, um, sorry for the back and forth on the video of showing different things, but... I'm really getting excited about this hunting trip I've got coming up and anxious to show some more videos uh, during the trip of where we're going to be. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye.